Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, something I've wanted to do pretty much all season, but it just, it really ties into getting a new package in the mail today from Alex over at Barbarian Braid. I ran this all year last year in 2022. I had it for most of the season in 2021. Have it on pretty much everything I run. David has it on the majority of his rods. I think I may have one or two left up here where I still run my old line. But I wanted to kind of give you guys my honest review on Barbarian Braid. And yes, I am sponsored by them, so I don't pay for line. But I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can. I'm going to show you guys what I used to run before, and I'll tell you what David used to run. But let's get into this box from Alex. This is some brand new stuff that I've been looking forward to. So you gotta have some decals, like who doesn't love decals? So here we go, straight away, this is the new Barbarian Braid Gold, and this is 80 pound, and this is 180 yards in this package here. Brand new stuff, so I got a couple of these to try this year, and we will be making a switch over to Akuma Reels for this year. So we'll be definitely setting up a majority of those new reels with this Barbarian 80 pound. And we're definitely going to try that out. I know that's something that a lot of people have asked from Alex is a slightly different weight. And the new stuff, just marked 80 pound, doesn't have the specs on it. I will try and get you guys the actual dimensions of the line. Because on the original 90 pound, it is listed as 0 0.019 of an inch. And just for context, the old line I used to run was Seaguar, Threadlock. And this is 80 pound and it's listed at 0 0.019. So the same diameter as the original Barbarian Braid. And I'll try and show you guys a couple pictures because I have a spool here that's actually opened of Barbarian Braid. And even though they are listed at the same specs, there's a little bit of a difference in feel. We'll touch on that a little bit later. All right, so Alex sent me a bunch of the original braid. There's probably, I'm going to say there's like six spools in there and two spools of the new Barbarian Gold. So really looking forward to this. And I know we'll probably be getting some more of this as the course of the summer goes on to try on some of the other stuff it's a big switch for us to switch completely over to the new stuff i think i got 19 or 20 musky rods up there so it's hard to just switch wholesale all at once so we're definitely going to try it on you know a handful of the ones that we use most often all right guys so the last couple of years we ran the original 90 pound braid had really good luck with it i can say up front I did not have a single break off. I did not lose a single lure due to a snag. I didn't have anything break off. I didn't lose a single fish. That's just, that's the straight up, honest to God truth. This was my number one rod last year. This is nine foot Moab. This is an eight to one Pro Rex that I had last year. And this braid was on there probably all year. I may have cut, you know, five or six feet off three or four times over the course of the summer. One of the things that I do see with braid, with the Barbarian braid, is the tag ends get pretty frayed up. If you're concerned, you could put a little bit of nail polish on there. It hasn't had any issue. I haven't had a single knot come undone or break at a knot. I always use a polymer knot right there. Haven't had zero issues. And like I say, this was my number one rod last year and not a single issue on that. Couple things that we did find with the original 90 pound, a lot of guys say that it just feels bigger than what the specs are. I'll include a picture of these two lines side by side, even though the specs say they're the same, there's a difference in feel. The thread lock definitely feels finer than the Barbarian. The Barbarian has almost a, uh, not a grit, but a little bit of a, a finish on it that feels a little bit rougher. It It's heavier line for sure. And one thing that you will find if you guys switch over to the original 
is that it doesn't lay quite as flat on your reel, so you won't get quite as much line as you will with, say, a Threadlock, or David used to use the PowerPro Max Quattro. So you'll definitely get more line on your spools with those. So we had to adjust how much backing we ran when we had Barbarian Braid. Once we got used to that, that part wasn't a problem. And you will find that you have to ad adjust your drag and your casting tension to just control your backlashes because this line is slightly heavier. It casts a mile I think because of the little bit extra weight to it and it, it's very even though it feels like it has like a coating or something on it it's very slippery and we find that it casts very well so just a couple things that i always warn people is make sure that you're kind of setting your reel up and if it's one of those things where you're using a line that you were comfortable with before and you had like a set it and forget it kind of setup on your reels you may have to adjust a little bit to run barbarian braid so for us last year, we caught so many fish, almost every single fish that went in the, my boat from me, Kyla, my kids, and from David come on Barbarian Braid. I can't say 100% because I know there's a few rods that we have that we haven't converted over, but the vast majority of all the fish come on Barbarian Braid. And that includes casting fish, that includes trolling fish, which we didn't get very many of last year, but in uh, 2021, we caught a ton of fish trolling, and it was all on the 90-pound original Barbarian Braid. And for us in the fall, a ton of sucker fish, and they all come on Barbarian Braid. Didn't have a single issue. And I know one of the things that comes up a lot on forums is how much water does this line retain? It does hold a little bit of water. It's not the wettest line that we've ever tried by any stretch. And it stays pretty supple in the cold weather. And we go just about as late as anybody goes in our area. Like we're pretty much right till ice up. And we're, we're able to get away with this line without any issues whatsoever. So that's a plus there. And for us to have one size of line across the board was great. I mean, that was just easy. We didn't have to switch up. Didn't have to have a specific rod set up for trolling with a different line we didn't want to run something different for suckers and the reason that we're going to the 80 pound is only because it's a bit smaller diameter so we can get a little bit more on our spools especially on 300 size reels so you guys that are using some of the smaller reels You'll want to try the Barbarian 80 Gold because you will get more line on. So for me running the original on, say, a, an Akuma Komodo 364, I, on a long cast, could get pretty much right down to the backing on a cast because this stuff casts so well. So I'm looking forward to going over to the 80 and getting a little bit more line on the spools just to kind of control that issue. What's the measure of success on a line? Well, I think the most obvious is, did it break? Did you have any issues with it? No, we had no issues with it. The whole time we've had it, we have not lost a single lure or lost a single fish at the side of the boat. And I can't say that about all the other lines we've ran. So that's a positive for us. And the amount of big fish that we put in the boat, and we're not really known as big fish specialists, but we put in a ton of big fish, a bunch of bunch of personal bests last year that all come on barbarian braid and that's just uh you know just a test of how good this stuff is that we trust it in every condition without issue and i am sure for you guys if you guys were to try it you would like it as much as us and if you just go into it knowing that yeah you might have to adjust your reels a little bit adjust how much you get on your spools i'm sure you guys will love this stuff appreciate you guys watching we were hesitant at first when a new line comes out on the market, especially from a small manufacturer, but I knew I wanted to try it. I reached out to Alex. He sent us some. We've developed a great working relationship, and I know we're one of the only guys that get as much as we do from them, and we appreciate it, and we try to give back as much as we can. And for a couple videos, check out the videos right here where we put two of our best fish from last year into the boat both of them on Barbarian Braid. And until next time, guys, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.